Welcome to, welcome back, welcome words. Oh, it's on? Ah. Yes, it is. That makes sense, because you came and sat down. Welcome back, or welcome to Confessions of a Homeschool Graduate. And today, we have something very special for you. We are going to react to some homeschooling TikToks that have been procured for us. Yeah, it's like, I have no idea what this is about to be like. I'm actually a little bit scared, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm like, she just sent me stuff and I'm, I'm like- I'm concerned. Miss Andrea picked these out, specifically, and I, I don't know, she just tends to be a little serious sometimes. She Sometimes she sends, like, the things my mother sends are either wildly serious, yeah. or just out of pocket, and you're yes. just like, no, well, I had nothing, why would you say that to me? Exactly. <laughs> what is this, this and where did you get it? Exactly. Oh God, I'm scared. Well, she seems happy. Homeschoolers don't have friends. Okay, so I didn't really have friends growing up, but it We've was talked about this. It was because I was antisocial and I didn't like people. And I mean, now I have friends. I mean, I got Rachel. She's not her calculating. And Good for Rachel and Emma. I'm done with her. I'm so done with her. I only have one. She's giving annoying influencer vibes. Let me make us uncultured. The way she just said that. Ma'am. <laughs> What did I just witness? I don't know. Also, how dare she start her car right after she knows we started filming. Mother! Mother! Also, you should know, actually, it doesn't matter, and there's sirens happening right now, so this is a great time for me to just say random nonsense. We're filming without AC right now for you. Yeah. Just think about that. We live in Georgia. We love you. We care that much about you. This is the South. Yes. Anyways. <laughs> That's somebody else. <laughs> this, this has been happening all day long. Is that a motorcycle? What is that? Leave faster. There's more sirens. What is going on? <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like we're in one of those jokes about growing up in the city with the sounds. Mm -hmm. Like, this doesn't feel real. No! Why is it? Is. I was like, ah, sound stop. Nope, that's more sound. The, the sound even stopped before the uh, the um, siren went off. Okay, so anyway. I'm disgusted. Yeah, actually. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. These are the girls I literally avoided at church. Yeah, no. And the scary part is, here's the other really scary part, is that these are the kind of girls that I was compared to all the time. Yeah. People were like, oh yeah, that's Holly. And I'm like... I was like, some You know literally nothing about me if you think I'm like that. Like, some of it, I was like, I mean, sure. I did know lots of families with lots of kids. Yeah. I did have friends. I don't know what to, I don't know what to tell her. I don't know what to say about that. Yeah, I was like, that was, like, that may be a you problem, my guy. I, and then she, she did say that. She said that might have just been her problem. Yeah. And I'm like, probably, actually. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I forgot for a hot second that I put sweetener in this. You did look very confused. I was like, something happened. I was like, why is this sweet? Oh yeah, because I sweetened it. No, I just, I saw your, like, the confusion. Of, like, not even your eyes, and your side profile just went. And I was like, something happened? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna blame daylight savings for all of my behavior today. I was like, something significantly changed about oh her coffee. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Um, I don't like her. Bottom line. Yeah. I just don't. I hate it for her. She's probably a really sweet person in reality, but I just don't love it. I don't love it. Yeah. That's um, like, I mean, don't tell everybody that I don't have friends. Do, please do not talk about homeschoolers like this. Saying that you're the living proof and then being like, yeah, we are all like this. I'm like, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. Like, if you're uncultured, that's your parents' fault. Though. Yeah, literally not. <laughs> I was like, I, I have lots of culture. I've been exposed to lots of stuff. Girl, that sounds like a you problem. I'm just saying. Okay, next. Yeah, but I'm I was like, okay. Her. I'm done. I was like, okay, ma'am. That that's not a me problem. Okay, so I'm 
the kind of homeschooling mom that just thinks this everybody and their mother should homeschool and it's the greatest thing ever for every single family. Truly, this is this is correct. Not everybody should be homeschooling. Not everybody is oh, patient common. enough yeah. for it or organized enough for it. However, these are all things that can be worked on. These are things that if you're motivated enough, you can change to make homeschooling work for your family if it's truly what you want to do. Mm. But I'm not going to lie. As a public school teacher, I despise homeschooling. Whoa. Like the fact that I'm even homeschooling right now still blows my mind. The what? number one reason for this is I had a lot of students that would come into my classroom as a lot of students were behind academically, not just the speech stuff, but students who didn't know their basic math facts or didn't know their basic sight words. And I'm talking fifth grade, 10 years old. There are a lot of fifth graders who have also been public school their whole lives or even private school their whole lives who also have those deficits. The difference really lies in the parents. If you're willing to do these things, it is so beautiful. It is the most rewarding experience I have ever had in my life. And again, never thought I'd be homeschooling. And now I can't imagine life any other way. She took a long time to say that. I was about to say, that was a lot of information. Yeah, I was like, you said so many things, like, man. Which is fair. She was trying to get a fully yeah. fleshed out point you out. Shut it down if you want to. Uh, but, like, that was a lot of information. And I was like, where are we going? Yeah, that was a ton. That was a whole bunch. Mm-hmm. I do understand. I do see some other homeschoolers and go, hmm. Okay, so... Mm. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. <laughs> That's so fair. So, you know, we had some people in our lives growing up who schooled with us for a while Mm -hmm. in, like, the elementary years, and they were radically unschooled. And that, yeah, it was this exact approach Mm -hmm. where it's like, this isn't unschooling. This is, this is definitely neglect. Yeah. And, like, my mom, because we were related to said people, decided that she was going to try and partner with the family. And so we started going over to each other's houses, like, trying to see if she can once a week. Yeah. And when I tell you, like, this person literally could not spell words and did not know his alphabet in like third grade. Yeah, it was so bad. It was really bad. So, like, when it comes to educational neglect, like, I had seen some stuff. Yeah, and it's not that that just happens in homeschooling. The public school system fills people every day. Oh, no, we had another one. We had another one, Mm -hmm. another relative who was in public school. Same situation. Yeah. My mom stepped in and was like, I'm going to help because I can't stand seeing people I care about go through this. Mm -hmm. And we took him and did homeschool with us. And it was the same kind of situation. We would literally pick this kid up from the public school. In the afternoons, they would come to our house, and then we would do school together until they decided to go homeschool all, like, entirely. And we did school together for a couple of years. And, like, this person who was, like, on track to be a dropout in elementary school. Like, like, on track. Mm -hmm. Like, it was so, such a struggle. Like, it, what she said about the parents... Yeah. I feel like a broken record on this channel because we've said it over and over and over and over it's again. It's about the type of support you get. Parental involvement. Yep. It doesn't matter. Homeschool, private school, public school, association, whatever it is, parents need to be involved. And my husband taught. And that's at every level. That's at every level. Even like when your kids are mostly self-sufficient. Yes. They're, at some point, you're going to need to be like, let me see what's going on. Yes. Just to make sure that they're truly okay and not overwhelmed by what's what they have. Yes, exactly. Or just to make sure they're actually doing the work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, again, not mentioning names. I was um, tutoring for a kid. Just like, I pretty much, I was, he would, like, go to a homeschool co-op. And he would come home and I would help him with all of his classwork. Right. But his parents were not involved. Yeah. And I would, like, he was a junior in high school and I was like... There are only so many hours in the day with the course load he has with all the extracurriculars. I get him through what I think he needs the most help with, right. and you guys have to finish when I'm gone. Right. I, you have me for six hours. Yeah. And junior six hours is a lot. And, but in junior year, that junior year, that yeah. most of your time is academics. Yeah. Senior year even is easier than junior year. I, I, you know what? I received that. My junior year was the hardest year of my life. Junior year is extremely difficult, and he had so much going on. I dealt with the most anxiety of my life of junior mm-hmm. year. And I was just like, he has like a, he had like a couple of learning disabilities. Yeah. And I was like, it's not that he wasn't smart enough to do it. He just needed time and sometimes for someone to say it differently. Or right. sometimes for someone just to be like, 
this is what's happening and it's fine that you're stressed out about it. Right. Right. But like they were after it was over they were like why does he have so much work left when you leave? And I was like how fast do you expect him to do this? Yeah. Also I'm not doing his work for him. Right. I'm like I'm teaching I'm him how to do the homework. Teaching him this. I'm making sure he, I'm his sec I am his secondary support teacher. I'm not doing his work for him. He, I'm not he's not like here's the English I'll tackle the Spanish. That's not how that's going. My blood is starting to so, boil. So, mm. and, oh, yeah. And then mm. at some point, some people like, one of the teachers was like, well, he doesn't have his books. And I was like, no, he doesn't. And the te- and the mom was like, why did you tell me he didn't have his books? And I was like, why didn't I tell yeah. you that yeah. he doesn't have his books? His father yeah. said he'll be fine without them. So I supplemented. Yep. I did what you hired me to do. Yeah. If you want, like, if you want to get jumped down somebody's throat, t- go after him. Because she was texting me on my off day. Uh-uh. She was like, why doesn't he have the books? And I was like, uh-uh. I gave his entire, I gave the entire thing to his father. Do not talk to me about what he does and does not have. I I think I have spent my own money to get him his science project and then build them for it later. Wow. Stuff like that. It just makes me like, sick. It's like, it's the support. I love that kid. I adore that. Yeah. You cannot pay me to be rich parents. You're gonna pay yeah. me good money. Parents stress me out, dude. Oh no! I one day they stress me one out. One day I walk downstairs. My it's during 2020. Yeah. I walk downstairs and ran into my dad's office. I had no idea what he was doing. Just went talk me down. He was like, whoa, whoa. Because I don't get mad, nor do I complain right. about much of anything. That's was, true. That's so it was already statement. like something's happened. Yeah. I was, yeah. I was like, talk me down, because I I'm about to lose my loving mind wow and he was like okay first of all you don't need this job yeah <laughs> he's like you don't need the money yeah so let's just start there and i was like no it's not about me it's it, we're at tw- close to the end of the school year i can't abandon him right now yeah and he was just like okay just chill for a minute i was like truly i was about to lose it and he was my dad had to truly talk me to off the ledge for like 10 minutes oh my gosh <laughs> everybody else was like Jordan doesn't get angry. So no, she I'm does a, not. So I'm just going to vacate the premises, honestly. I'm going to take a walk. This has nothing to do with me. Yeah, I feel like the people with the longest fuses who are usually the most patient are the ones you should be the most scared of. Like, yeah. if they're upset. No, I walked down the stairs, yeah. kicked open the door of my dad's office. No idea what he was doing at that time. I was like, talk me down. And he was like, you don't need this job. <laughs> if this is what's happening, you, you don't, don't need, need this job. You will figure it out. You don't need the money that bad. Yeah. And I was like, that's not the point. He's like, what is the point? <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. 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 So, uh, be the involved problem, yeah. with your kids. The problem is always the parents. Like, be involved with your kids. Yeah. I'm just gonna say this. Okay? Homeschool, not homeschool, private school. You can put as much, throw as much money as you want at the problem. Uh, unless this, unless you are doing your job as a parent to help them, they're gonna be a little behind. And you know what? If that offends you, I'm not sorry. Yeah, no. Because you need to be involved with your kids. I'm so, okay. Like, like I understand if there are problems or sometimes things are hard, and but you have to like find somebody who is sitting down with your child and hopefully it's you. Yes, that's what is necessary. My husband taught for a year in the public school system recently, and it was the same problem. So yeah. th- again, this is not a homeschool thing. No, the kids whose parents were absent or not involved in their life would come and look at him as the teacher and say why is my child failing your class yep and his response would be what have you done with them at home and the answer was always nothing it's it's always just like how involved are you yes which it's understandably i understand why people think this is a homeschool problem because when people who don't know what they're doing it's really easy to blame it is it's easy to blame homeschoolers and it's easy to see the worst representation yes of homeschooling. Well, and until recently, I feel like there's been a history in pop culture of homeschooling as like the unschooled, as the weird yeah. kids, as the freaks. I know what you're thinking. Homeschooled kids are freaks. I was like, what you know? And we knew those kids. I'm not gonna pretend I didn't know those children. Sometimes I was that child, okay? Every once in a while, you're like, something's happening When over you're there. three years old and you're like, my daddy doesn't like sports. He likes Star Trek. Looking at the, uh, the Sunday school teacher who hands you a Father's Day card with sports stuff on it. 
Like, that's like, yeah, that's some, typical, like, that's the, some typical homeschool weirdness. Yeah, that was like the thing well, you need to look out for the homeschool is a strange pretentiousness generally. That's. <laughs> I was like, we're a real hoity toity for some reason. We come off that way because we're confident. Yeah. And when children are confident, adults look at that and they say disrespect. We get real precocious. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm afraid, but we should go to the next one. Yeah. I was raised in a cult, homeschooled, and very educationally neglected. Huh? 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 Oh God, so she did send the hard ones today. Others who were also educationally neglected, whether it was because you were homeschooled and in a cult, whatever the situation was, I have a question for you. How do you catch up? How did mm. you catch up? I didn't have that what problem. What resources did you find useful, or what did you do? Where did you even start? Oh, because I can't. I yeah. I can't help her with that. Uh. I'm very curious to see this through the end. Yeah. Go, I, on, go ahead. I feel like I'm so behind. I have 12 years to catch up on, and I want to get an education. I don't even know where to start. Very overwhelming. Do I start with history, math, science? I genuinely do not know. I have to pause it halfway through, mm -hmm. and we, we'll keep discussing in a minute. But she's already, she's already said a lot. It's a lot to download. Yeah, she's already said um, a lot. Oh, I mean, I do know those people. I do have friends who came out the other side of high school and were like, I don't know anything. The Colts, man. Yeah. That's very real. Mm -hmm. You know, as, that's very Unfortunately, real. if you're like, if you're going to pick a problem with homeschooling, you can get away with a lot of weird. It was like, it is harder for you to get away with that when some, a different adult looks at your kid every day. This is why accountability mm -hmm. and communities are so important and like, like so important mm -hmm. okay because when you've got people in your neighborhood who are going through this like i don't know this might just be me personally and my values and, and beliefs but when i see someone who is actively struggling in that way and i, I grew up this way as well mm -hmm. you know we did the best of our ability to help when we could yeah. And to step in when necessary. Because things like this, this is inexcusable. Allowing your child to go through severe educational neglect. And, yeah, this is a tough one. Yeah, it's like allowing is the, isn't is even the word. It was, in situations like this, it was purposeful. Right. And like, what do you do? Yeah. Yeah. There, my, I will say, I, generally I'm like, homeschooling's um, not the problem. But, like, at least when I was homeschooling, there was a lot of checks and balances. Those people in that government office knew my face and my name, and they looked at me once every three to six months. Well, because there was accountability. Yeah. Because you had a community. They they saw me every six months, and, like, and they would be like, how's school going for you, kid? Exactly. And my mom was handing in her paperwork. Exactly. And I think it got more and more lax over the years. Oh, gosh. My mom would take us to run errands with her during our school day. Like, we would have finished up our book work at home. Mm -hmm. and, and we would go to the bank. You know, I had a relationship with the bank tellers. They gave me lollipops. Like, and the thing is, like, you've got people in your life at that point who see you all the time. When you're friends with the people at the grocery stores. When, when your parents socialize you in that way around adults and take you out in, in real life. Like, having that kind of accountability is just really good. Because then people, the words are so hard. I'm going somewhere with this, I promise. Yeah, I'm I just not doing a good job at explaining it because I'm so upset right yeah, now. Yeah, no, it's like, that's a lie. Like, when I was going to church in high school and I was going through a lot and I, I hit a point where I was dangerously underweight, um, one of the adults there looked at me and was like, hey, are you okay? And for the first time, I was like, wait, maybe I'm not, you know? And, like, mm -hmm. my parents were aware of what was going on. Like, this wasn't any kind of neglect on their part. Um, but, like, the fact that there were people in my life who would ask those questions, it, you know? And it disgusts me that people would keep their children from having that purpose. Exactly. Fully. Exactly. Because even my mom is not a part was not, as a child, was not particularly a social person. Right. But she would stomach anybody who was a fan of mine. Yep. And so I had a lot, there were a lot of adults who were like looking at me on a regular basis. Yes. Like, how are you today, kid? What are you up to? Make sure I have a ticket to whatever what that is. Yes. And my mom, maybe not a fan of theirs, but they were a fan of mine. So she dealt with it. Exactly. 
because that's what you need. You've got to have some kind of support group, not only for yourself, but for your children. Mm -hmm. And I mean, my mom also did that. Like my family did an, an incredible job with that. It was amazing. And I always knew that there were at least five adults that I could call. Mm -hmm. Like if I was struggling with anything, there were at least five adults at any given time that I could call that were not my parents, you know, not including the relationship I had to my parents. And it breaks my heart to see that other kids went through homeschool and didn't have that, you know, because I would get that question of like, how do you like homeschooling? How can you possibly be homeschooled? Wouldn't you get annoyed with your parents? Wouldn't you? And I'm like, no, no, no. I was like, no, my parents like me and they're awesome. Like, they're actually really cool humans that I enjoy being What around. I would caution people against is, like, this is going to sound wild when I'll I say, say it. Do you like your kids? I'm not saying do you not do you love your children. That's different. Do you like being around your children? Yeah. If you do not enjoy actively spending time with the kids, don't homeschool. Don't do it. Don't homeschool. Don't. Just don't. Because my because a lot of the people who I know who struggled at the other end of college or people whose parents were like, well, I have a life too, and you're yeah. and you're in the way, and that's just not a good environment for anyone. And I was like, and there's you're... let me just say this too: there's nothing wrong with that. No, okay. If you're the kind of person who needs space from your children, we are not saying this to ridicule. We're not no. saying this to accuse. We're just saying it's not the right fit for you. Yeah, if it, if having to be around your kid all the time is going to burden your relationship with them. Then just have space. Then sp- and space is healthy. You just, know? Then For some just people, that have works. the space. For us, that wasn't necessary. No. I loved my parents. My parents loved me. Loved being around each other. Well, yeah. liked. We liked each yeah. other. Yeah. It's like love you is know? not the problem. Love is not the word. It's that we enjoyed each other's company. Like, we, I, if you don't have the family that wants to hang out in the living room every night, that's fine. That's what we did. And sometimes, yeah. even as a teenager, I was like, well, I'm tired of y'all. And I would walk off. Yeah. And that was all so fine. Yes. But, like, if you don't, like, literally, I just sort of have this memory of us being in the car around Christmas time. And there's, like, this one song. It was like, and mom and dad can hardly start for school to start again. And my, and we would be singing. My mom always went, that's so weird to so me. So did my mom. I was like, why do you want, want to why be around Why do they keep being children? the same person? Yeah, it's weird. Why do they keep being the same person? And I was like, why do you not like your kids? Because, <laughs> my, again, my mom is very... Not likes kids way more now, which was weird to me. She started school and I was like, since when did you like children? And apparently she likes kids a lot. Yeah. But she was always like, if you don't like your kids, then why did you have them? And that was literally my mom. She was like, I don't like anybody else's kids. I'll get you said to my face. Like, stop bringing your friends around here. I don't like anybody else's <laughs> kids. I like you specifically. That, that was actually my mom all the time. Because, mm-hmm. like, people would ask that question and she'd just be like, what is wrong with you if you don't like your kids? Because, but honestly, it's just how some people are built. Yeah. I was like, you don't have to, you don't have to spend time with people like that. Sometimes I'm like, wow, one day I'm going to be married and he's just going to have to be, have a room he can go to. <laughs> I'm, right? I'm going to get sick of looking at you. Exactly. And that's just the type of person I am. People are just different. But, like, I can't imagine being sick of my children and being like, please leave. Yeah, that's, I don't know. I don't know. And if I ever got to that point, I was like, wow, I'm going to give us both space. You know what? I'm going to bookmark this one. Yeah. So, fun little, fun little interjection. Uh, at some point, we are going to have my sister on the show who has children. Um, and I would love to hear her talk about this. Yeah. Because I don't have kids yet. You know, you don't have kids yet. No. She's in the middle of it. Like, she's, you know, like, late 20s, early 30s. Mm-hmm. And has children. Um, lots of them. And homeschools. And, like, I would love to hear her thoughts on this. That was kind of a squirrel moment. That's But fine. anyway. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. No, this is not, this it's is like, not. I hate that she's in this situation, because I, like, help. I don't. So now, as far as catching up, yeah. As far as people in this position, if the, like if this is the situation, so if you're a person who relates to this and is struggling with this experience of being like a, a full twelve years behind on your education, I would say start with a support group. Start by reaching out to either like a group therapy or a group setting where you can share and discuss, um, because you're going to need people to come alongside you in this journey. Mm-hmm. This is going to be and, frustrating. Like sources to start with would be th- online learning platforms are amazing, like Khan Academy. Mm-hmm. Duolingo has a math feature now. Like you can you can get some of your language basics that way. Like yep. writing courses are online. Um, I like I like the options of like Duo and 
con because those are free. Yeah. But if you are able in a position where you can pay for certain courses, you could go through something like um, master classes or and start on like a basic level for writing. But also, it's... also pick up like a third grade and a sixth grade just basic language books. Yeah. From, like, the bookstore. Oh, Crash Course is an amazing resource. Yes. And if you're just trying to be, like, how do I even get these credits back? Yeah. Um, a lot, there's a lot of, like, ADAP programs. Yes. Um, clepping is a thing. Like, if I, yes. if you're good at self-learning, if you, like, go through, like, those programs, like Crash Course, you can learn the material and take the test. Yeah. And they're pass-fail, so you'll just get the credits for that course. Yeah. And that's a good way to, like, very, like... I need like the credits for it. that's yeah. a good way to catch up but from the bottom of my heart if you had a homeschool experience that was like this I'm so sorry yeah no. and I wish you all the healing that you deserve because no one should ever have to go through that yeah um and you're not alone obviously because we're here to being able to talk about it you're not no and like I had friends growing up like, we've seen it. Who were actively going through this. And my parents did the best they could to mm -hmm. step into their lives and be a positive influence. Like, again, even in public school, there are people who are just, like, entirely, like, neglected. People are going to go through things. Yeah. People are going to have hard home lives. And there's a reason why we were taught sensitivity growing up. Mm -hmm. You know? And knowing who your mom is, knowing who my mom is, I can say with 100% certainty, we were taught sensitivity. And we were taught compassion. Yeah. And as always, we should mo most assuredly do our best as the the broad homeschool community mm -hmm. to look on these people with love and compassion in our hearts. And that's that's all I have to say. Yeah. I, can I even finish this? Yeah, later? right? I was like, what else can we say? In my state, there is like a set amount of hours that they are legally required to teach their kids. But there is nobody checking to make sure that the parents are being honest in the fact that they said they taught during those hours. I know that I'm not the only one who has had this problem. And I know that there's others just like me. Who are I'm glad there are a lot of good comments. Co good comments. There are so many. Yeah, there was like, yeah, they said basically the same things we did. I will say there's nothing but love in this comment section. And Wonderful. That, that honestly, faith in humanity restored. Yep. Like that makes my heart so happy. <laughs> yeah, no, there. Somebody said math and reading. Start there. You're right. Yeah, a thousand percent. Yeah. Bro, math. the library. Yeah. To stretch strangely, I also, library, really as nice. as really hard and yeah, and like just dumb as this is gonna sound. Like if you talk to a depressed person, don't be depressed. It's gonna sound that ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, why didn't I think of that? But honestly, don't be afraid to ask questions. Yeah, no, there's... like you don't have to feel afraid to do that. And I know that especially if you grew up in like a cultish environment like this, right. then that sounds like how? Why would you even like no? Yeah, like but I I and I receive that, but like. Do not be afraid to ask questions. There are no dumb questions. No. It's really the best aren't. thing that you can do. It's like if you don't understand something, just sitting around and being confused, not helping yeah. you. Yeah. No one wants you just to sit there and be confused. Okay. That's go to a go to a funny one. Yeah. No, don't don't go back yeah. to the, the text. Uh, yeah, no, I'm like We can't even use this. I told you my mom was out of pocket. I told you. That did not. I was, I'm distressed. <laughs> but hey. I'm, she's gone. Oh, so, yeah. She left. I can't even yell at her. She left. This one seems fun and positive. This one seems positive. It seems positive. We'll find out. What does it say? I was homeschooled. And up until very, very recently, I was planning on homeschooling all of my children. Um, uh, emotional damage. Oh, God. Where, where are we going? Public school is because we recognize that he had a big fish, little pond mentality. Ah. Uh -huh. Now, as his mom, I kind of like that. I was like, good for him, first of all. No, I'm <laughs> curious. I have to know. Say, say what you're going to say. I was like, good for him, first of all, but also good for them for being like, I can't let this him just be shocked at the age of 18. And I was like, no, go be around some of the kids. I don't want them to bully you or nothing, but let them humble you a little bit. Yes. I was like, I need you to see what other people are doing. Yes, I will say in homeschool circles, I did definitely know some kids like that. Who yeah. were like, I know everything, therefore I'm the best. Yeah. And I definitely was never, ever like that myself. Never. I'm, no. Never.
ever. No. No. I was always so humble. I was like, I never was entirely full of myself. Oh, guys, no, I was a vicious child. <laughs> I was. I was, a, I was a bit holier than thou as a kid. 100%. Yeah, no. I was not a little bit. I was a lot. Hey, DW. Francine, can I ask you a question? Sure, anything. Why don't you go back to your own house and stop bothering us? I was like, sometimes I look back and I was like, wow, y'all are annoying children. <laughs> what, a, what an annoying child you were. Oh my god. I don't even know if I could tolerate to be in the same room as my younger self. I could... Because at least what I can say about younger me is that it was like, I was never, I, my mentality has always been, there's no way I possibly know everything, but I did think I was better than that oh, bro, person over no, there. no, I was like, there is definitely a way that I know everything. Yeah, no. I was always like, there's stuff I don't know, definitely. No, no. But also, better than you. Yeah. I was like, I'm better than everyone. <laughs> but only sometimes. It depended on the day. Right? Really? Truly. Like, there were other days where I was like, I'm the worst person in the world. I need to be humbled so much. But it's, it just depended. Yeah. It just depended. Anyway. The reality is I recognize that mentality among social groups and with his friends and even with authority figures like myself, my husband, and his grandparents, aunts, uncles, etc. And so in choosing to send him to school, we honestly just made the decision based on the fact that it would teach him to accept and appreciate a small fish, big pond mentality. <laughs> I'm done. I mean, I get what she's saying, but also I wish she would have changed the wording just a little bit. We yeah. want him, we it, we think it will. Because you can't be you don't know how 100%. Gonna, you don't know how that's going to turn out. <laughs> I mean, he might wind up with a cult of children worshiping him. Like, yeah, and I was like... I'm because sure. this is a thing that actually happens in public schools and private schools. Everywhere. Yeah. It just does. If there's a kid who thinks they know everything... It could go one of two ways. Yeah. Like, either they're going to get ostracized and isolated and learn that they are not the most important person in the room, mm -hmm. or everyone's going to be like, that kid got riz. Like, right? That's true. <laughs> That's fair. I do. I just, like, I've always thought that it's, like, it's important to be around other people. Yeah. And it's important. I, I really just do think people should have siblings. No, I'm sorry if you, like. I agree. I just, like, I just think, even if it's, like, your cousin, I was, like, be having another person you to grow up with. You need children around you who will humble you. Yeah. Like, you need to learn that you are not the coolest person in the room mm -hmm. every time. Because even, like, the ones I do, who I know who do have, yeah. like, cousin siblings. Yeah. Are, like, they they do weird things. They do. Only children do some weird children stuff. Children do. Children in general. <laughs> but, like, this is, I think this is just, like, like I homeschooled and I spent all my time with my brother thing. But I was, like, sometimes I have Same. a friend who will get up and leave the room and say nothing. Yes. No words. Yes. No explanation of where yes. you're going. And then she'll come back and I'll be like, where you been? Where did you go? And she was like, oh, I was just doing this. And I was like, you, you couldn't have said nothing? And I was like, I was coming back. I was like, that's not the point. You did not give me context for why you just randomly left like, while look, I was in the middle of talking. Look, having siblings teaches you to go, I'm going to pee. That's all I have to say. And they're like, when you have siblings, you tell people yes. where you're going. Yes. See, but then there's also, I just narrate everything I'm doing. That's fair. To a point where I don't even realize I'm saying things out loud sometimes. Uh, that's fair. But like, <laughs> like the time that I said, I'm hungry, that smells good, went to the bathroom, and then I came out of the bathroom and Troy's standing in the hallway with pizza. <laughs> yes. And I didn't even realize I had said anything out loud. And he's like, you want some pizza? Like, I have extra pizza. I was like, did I say something? <laughs> <laughs> I had that, but with singing? Because in the homeschool group I was in was very theater and music and arts based. Yeah. So if I burst into song and made class, everyone just sang with me and we came back together and yes. we kept doing what we were doing. That's the way to do it. So in my mind, there was no filter to stop the singing. Because it was like y your uniqueness was encouraged. Yeah. There was no filter that stopped the music. I love so that. So I got to college and just started singing in the middle of class. People were like, what's happening? And I'd be like, oh. I have, is this not normal? I have never been, it has never been brought to my attention once bro, that I bro, sang randomly. Bro, bro, that happened to me when I had to live in a dorm. Uh, let me just tell you guys right now. Oh my I God. made it through one semester of college. I was like, one. <laughs> if you want to say that we're unsocialized, it's not that we're unsocialized, it's that people don't stop you from doing things. They don't. That in other situations might be a little socially unacceptable. Right. 
Like, it's not that I'm not socialized. It's that my socialization didn't stop me from doing things that other because people Because the thing about, like... Consider embarrassing? Most homeschool communities is that they will not ridicule you for your uniqueness. No, no, They no. encourage it. They'll be They're like, like, that's fun. You love to sing? Girl, yes. They'll just be like, that's fun. Exactly. What a weird thing she did. Oh, great. We love it. Then will someone will go on and move on. That rock belongs to this student specifically. Oh. I'm going to put it in the locker. Like, literally, that's... <laughs> well, like, we just don't care. Because, like, it's not really that disruptive. It's not. But, like, if you do that in a classroom setting... Although I will say... That's like, very structured. Jensi and Jen Alpha are getting, like, weird enough to the point where anything's acceptable now. They are strange. And I do kind of love that. I do get... Like, being weird is no longer... I don't... At least I feel that being weird yeah. is no longer a weird thing. Then again, yeah. I'm in some isolated circles. Yeah. But it's like, they do like to call some people cringe. But, like... Well, cringe is different. Listen. No, I was like... I mean... <laughs> I was like, that's fair. Listen to me being a hypocrite. <laughs> I was like, cringe is where joy comes. Is where the joy comes out. Actively being a hypocrite. But I was like, anyway, what's the difference? <laughs> I've completely lost it. Oh, I don't know. I've gone so off topic. I am contained. To continue homeschooling, I think my story can help. I okay. was homeschooled from second grade all the way through graduating high school, and I want to share why it's one of Same, the best actually. things that ever happened to me. There are literally too many things to count, so this will definitely be a series. Oh, no. I'm going to try to share three today. I'm scared. Number one, bullying is so much less that's fair there is a lot it's not i'm not going to say that i wasn't bullied at all in any homeschooling oh, situations I was. but i will say it was worse when i was in public school because i was a, again i was gonna be a weird kid i was i was gonna be a weird kid yeah nothing about being homeschooled is what made me a weird kid i was gonna be a weird child yeah but like the the truly the control of like student teacher ratio that's fair does help that's fair it helps i was never in public school so i was in public school till about second grade yeah my sisters were i was yeah well again i'm the same age as your sisters so that makes sense but like no private school like i was very okay early early like pre-k kinder like pre-k early kindergarten yeah I moved to Georgia from New York. Right. And the system was so different. So different. And also I was like in private schools in New York. And then I got into Georgia public school. Let me tell you right now, Gwinnett County looks amazing on paper. There were so many kids. And I was uh, truly, I need the attention. I'm not even joking. I was like, please look at me. (laughs) I'm not even, like I seem like an extrovert. I'm not, but I'm like, I do need the attention. I don't, it doesn't make sense. You know it makes sense. I know, it doesn't make sense. Your whole personality doesn't make sense. Truly, people (laughs) annoy me so much, but I do need the attention. (laughs) It's critical. It is very, it's very pertinent that someone looks at me. Hey, everybody, look at Raquel. (laughs) Hey, everybody, look at Raquel. (laughs) Truly, there's like in situations, people like, you are the sharp of the situation. It's like, that's wild. (laughs) And true. And also, I don't need... I, like, also, I've had too much attention now. No one look at me for three days. It's too much. Oh, don't look at me. Just just a technical glitch. I'm a rose. I need just enough water. <laughs> but where was I going? Ah, oh, nah. Somewhere. Squirreled. I'm squirreled. Great, where was I going? I don't know, because I'm, I'm lost. <laughs> oh, where are we going? That was that was supposed to be a very short snippet of the thing Do I said. Do you know why I'm so stuck? Oh, okay. What was I saying? Hold on. We're going to get back. Okay. We'll get there. I was like, oh, bullying? The public school, bullying. Oh, I got I got to yes. um, public school in Georgia, and they just didn't have time for me like that. Yeah. They didn't have time for me like that. Gwinnett County ain't got time for nobody. And I was truly used to everybody being like, look at her! Oh my gosh, it's Jordan! She was, uh, no, first of all, I was adorable. Second of all, was? So cute. <laughs> I was so cute. More than you are now? Yeah. No. Tiny Jordan is still goals up here. I want to go back. <laughs> so anyway, they didn't have time for yeah, you. Yeah, no, they didn't have time to humor me like that. Right. I was just sort of like, hi, look at this. They're like, you need to sit down. <laughs> I'm like, I feel personally rejected. Oh my gosh. I truly can't handle this. I was like, oh, so nobody loves me. Okay. 
The internalization. No, truly? I just want to find Tiny so Jordan fast. and give her a hug now. So fast. Little Jordan was like, oh, no one loves me I anymore. just need to hug her. Okay. I was used to people picking me up at random and carrying me around. Oh, my god. I was truly used to being the little center of attention oh at all gosh. times. And then I got to Georgia Public School and Little Jordan did not thrive. That checks. She was not okay. That checks. Georgia public schools build different. Yeah. Like, they do, like, like build different. what time did they have for me? What time? With these 20 other kids. Yeah. Well, I was like four or five. They did not have time for me it's like that. Different. And also, I was a weird child. So I was just doing stuff, and everyone was like, sit down. And even though the kids were like, why are you like this? And I was like, no one loves me. The rejection. No, I truly, I was not okay. I hate that. <laughs> but like it was like reasonable in that setting it was yeah like, that sounds reasonable like they i had to be homeschooled i'm the type of person who needed to be homeschooled yeah same i was like they did not have the time to give me the attention same. i needed to be okay as a person i don't know i i would imagine that had i gone to public school for any amount of time it would have been the same experience that's fair because i also needed to be at the center of attention yeah like i just needed it i needed everyone to look at me and I needed, like, one-on-one -on -one learning time with adults. Mm -hmm. Like, and I just, that's what I needed. Excuse you. It's, why is that always the sound? If, where are the motorcycles coming from? There's a lot of them. Where I mean, are they coming from on this little, little road? I don't it, understand. Girl, this is the little, little road. Right out there is a major highway. I know, but, like, where are they going? I don't know. From there's, here? There's motorcycle shops nearby. Yes. Anyway. I feel like we should probably finish this. Oh, yeah. Why did she pick such long videos? It's fine. So much choir. So much choir. I learned to fence. We didn't need Jim. We ran around in the backyard. Oh, I, my mom let me get fencing lessons. That sounds amazing. We were too broke for that. That's very... Oh, she's talking about my co op setting. Yeah, yeah. I was like, the bullying did happen when the teachers left the room. <laughs> Because get locked in this, getting locked in a small room. How feels, many things are we gonna just randomly drop? Are you like okay? this is so much. That was traumatizing. There is so much going on. She's like, yeah, and I went to public. I'm, I went to private Christian school, and at a birthday party, I got locked in the bathroom. I will just say, casually, I still talk about school, therapy. Private school kids are weird. Yeah. No, like she seems legit. She seems like I'm yeah. not. I don't have a problem with her. It's just yeah, no, it's so not much her. information. But I was like, when I was in private school, I was like, I, that tracks for private school. We like I've, I've talked about this before. We volunteer at some private schools with some of their drama stuff. Mm -hmm. Like we helped, and so growing up, like bouncing around from different private schools. Yeah, they were special. Yeah, no, they I, were special. This is now. I'm this is saying this from a memory of somebody who was four years old at the time. Yeah, but like I take did, that with a grain of salt. Yeah, so I was. In private schools, mostly in New York. Yeah. And I think in Louisiana, my was lived a lot of random places. I was not intelligible. People did not know what I was saying. <laughs> I was like, oh, yes, this New York-born child <laughs> learning to speak in the Deep South. Let's see how that you turns were, out. But, you're, you, but in private schools. Yeah. Oh, darn. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Private schools, private schools. Oh, the, even as a young child, there was like a weird clickishness that you could see everywhere. Yes. Well, oh I was gosh, like, yes. I, uh, even as like a weird pampered child who was just being carried at random intervals yeah. because I was small and cute, there, there, you could like walk, we had recording class for some, we had a recorder class. Everybody, all of the classes would come in the chapel and we'd be playing the recorder and I was like, that must have been fresh hell. <laughs> that sounds terrible. But like, you could feel the tension in the room. Yes. All the older kids were so mean. Yes. Not to me, I was great. But they were all, like, you could tell that there was like something going on. Oh my gosh, at the private school that we were volunteering at, mm -hmm. one of the kids got penalized for wearing Converse in the chapel room. Well, like, what a strange, weird... Granted, the uniforms and stuff, which yeah. I never understood. Oh, no. Like, we were in, like, we were, like, in little plaid skirts. I was so, but so tiny in this one-piece plaid yeah. dress uniform. Yeah. The third was, like, a recorder. Me and this one other kid just, like, you want to escape to the bathroom? This is terrible. Yeah. <laughs> I was four. <laughs> we were, like, That's awful. We are like, we'll take turns escaping to the bathroom. This to is have crap. that feeling at four years old. <laughs> yeah, no. That's not that's good. That's my memory of private school. That's not good. And, like, okay, so before I even knew what e-girls were or that they existed. Oh. I think this was before that term was even coined. Yeah. But, like, there were so many of them. So, like, imagine 
Because we, the one we volunteered at, we were in, like, a like a middle school age to high school class. Mm-hmm. Somewhere around there. I don't know. They were all, like, adults to me because I was six at the time. Yeah. So, like, every single one of them was an adult in my brain. And they were, like, in eighth grade. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, it's like, you're little and they're big. So, like, I'm talking with them. And, like, these things are just going over my head. And they're, like, making suicide jokes. That's not uncommon. And, like, talking about ways that they're gonna, like, just end it. And I'm, like... Yeah. Child, something has gone wrong here. We're in a drama class. Are you okay? Why are we having this discussion? Like, I understand, like, the jokes just happened, but, like, Mm -hmm. it was like they were just a little bit too fixated on it, and it was more than one of them. They were all talking about it. That happened. This was even, like, long before 13 Reasons happened. Yeah. Oh, no, I was there. This was long before that. So, like, I was there. I was like, why are we in, like, that was mid internet culture with, like, do, I'm gonna jump off. I'm just gonna jump off the roof. Do a backflip. Yes. <laughs> like, like yes. that's that's the response. Like, I'm just gonna have to end it all. Do a backflip off the bridge. See, and things like that. People would say stuff like that, and as a I, six I year will old, say, I, I wouldn't even a, know what was being said. That that was very. I would much not even put it together until later in my life. Late middle school, mid high school. That w- that was a little bit me. Oh no. <laughs> I was like, do it. I would be like, gonna end it. It's like, do a backflip. Oh no. No, we were so stressed. <laughs> I don't know where that comes from. I think it was like stress. I mean, it was we like, made it halfway through this. I don't want to. That's fine. Are we done? <laughs> Maybe. It's not her or the information. I think we just had too much There's information. There's so much. Mom really just sends us like the most dense videos. She does. So, granted, she loves to download information. So She does. I have a limit. <sighs> yeah, no. But I, so, I truly... Did you have more you were going to say? Yeah, no. It's, it's, it. it's pretty much just sort of like... If, oh, what was I even talking about? I don't know. I'm Where so are we? I don't know. What are we doing? I normally am on track for this. What are we talking about? Where am I, actually? So I truly believe that that is all we are going to have time for today because yeah. our brains have been so squirrely. No, um, I've, I've truly tapped out. I've melted. Yeah, same. I, I, honestly, I think I did this. Maybe. Well, if you enjoyed our ADHD rants uh-huh. um, and listening to us connect like 700 different dots across a whole scatter plot. I'm not even sure we um, listened to those. What, what is any of yeah, those videos? I about? don't even know. Who knows? Who knows anything anymore? What is life? I hope you um, enjoyed that. Yeah. And maybe comment about it. And um, yeah. Tell us what you think Thanks. about what we said and words and stuff. Until next time. Bye. Why do we both? That was so 2010. That's, do we need to do it again? Okay. Until next time. <laughs> oh, God. The mid-2000s has crawled out of us. Oh, <laughs> oh I am dead. I am officially dead. <laughs> what?